select on screen condensed click on me it is used as standard modules and automation tools I'll talk about that later close that screen we're happy with that it was recognized save it so there's the module there let's see what we have in the test case let's create a test case and then we'll drag that in there see if we can do a little click on that it should be fairly straightforward do an F6 boom okay and try again Alt F4 what else do we need to do guys we need to have don't forget those folders right precondition process post condition so we want our little test step in the process precondition we want open URL and do I have it in the copy and paste buffer? I do. Very good. Post condition. Close browser. And we know the browser is Tricentis obstacle course up here. Star. So now we've got the basics, okay. Shall we give it a good name? All capitals true to it, because of a style sheet. 511 30. 511 30. And I think we're going to use that name for the module as well, which was subscribe. That would be great if you did. Thank you. Um, so now we, we click on that button, but we need to do then a, a T box close window. No, window. Actually, instead of typing T-box, just like typing window operation. Okay. And the window caption is something to do with Twitter. Okay. So we'll just say Twitter. Star Twitter. Anything with Twitter in the title is going to get zapped. Okay. And the operation is going to be. Well, I noticed it took a little bit of time. For that thing to actually appear, so we'll do a wait on open, and then we'll do another kind of T box operation, and we'll say Twitter, and we we'll say uh, close. So that's what we want to do. We want to close it. Yeah. So now we have precondition. Open that browser on that page. Test configuration. Browser. We could do that at a higher level and I'd never have to do it again, but then again, each video wouldn't be self contained. Internet Explorer. Let's go back to the details. The process will be. Um, click on the click me button. Wait on the Twitter window. To open, and then I think it said we want to close it. Close the twit window, and then the post condition is shut that browser down. Shall we give it a go? Shall we give it a go, guys, girls? How many boys out there? How many girls out there? Is it a 50-50 split? And is everybody being paid equally? Let's give it a go. Opens the browser, it's a good start. Click on me happened, it got killed. That was quick. But, have you forgotten to do something? Yeah, we did, we forgot to do something. Where is our verification? So let's go in here. In the subscribe module, you'll find a little thingy 
that verify as we solve the riddle. Verify the solution window appears. We want to verify visible is equal to click. True. Okay, let's run it one more time. Bingo. That worked well. That was pretty quick. Six minutes. Is there anything else we want to do? Well, if that was a little feature, or a little bit of functionality that we wanted to make sure was working properly, how are we going to know if we can release this software into production at the end of the sprint? Well, what we need to do is take that test case, set it to in work, okay, now we review it, goes around a couple of people or just one person, maybe the, the best person you have on the team, he does the reviews, okay, and then we set it to completed. Now, this test should be connected up to 5113, that's good, okay, and this test should can we drag a requirement actually? Let's see. Uh, no. Uh, we'll take that test case and drag it into the execution list. And I had something earlier in here which was just. I don't know. It's okay. To the obstacle course. The obstacles. Okay. Take that one out. Don't like that. There's twins. You can see twins ran successfully at one stage. Okay. Identifiers. Now there's pop up windows. Let's give it a go. Let's run it from here. See what happens. This is the real test. Running in the scratch book is one thing, it has to run inside an execution list and it has to run successfully in there. Okay. Now you can see on this date at 20 past 12, yes, too much caffeine in my system. And I didn't get up until like 1 o'clock today, so I'm full of beans, and that's why I'm in the bunker. Yes, the nuclear bunker in Zurich making these videos. I do actually kind of find it fun. Anyway, what's that? Subscribe. Okay. Let me see. Now we go back to the requirements. We can get a feel for what's going on. That's, that's 10. Okay. And we got a bunch of stuff that's working properly. Now I think we just did this one. Nothing here, okay. So we go to the top and we say update outdated values. This could take a while. There's our 5105. Happy days. The execution state is grey. Uh, I mean white. Okay. This is the kind of information that people need, you know? Like if the obstacle course was some really important feature, we could turn around and say, hey, you know, 13% of that functionality is covered, and 13% has been executed. The execution state is 13%. Now, I haven't gone in there and I haven't played with any of these, uh, these frequencies and damage weightings, and, and th these are the frequency class and damage class, and these are important. But for the time being, we're just kind of fooling around going through the obstacle course. But what I want you to kind of get across to you was, if you did have a lot of requirements, this is the kind of information that people want to know about. Like, how far down the road are we? Okay. 
what else we want to do with this? Nothing, I think. Oh, hold on a second. Modules named OK. Pop up windows. The test. So, precondition, open URL. That's OK. Process, click on the click me button. Wait on the Twitter window. Open, close the Twitter window. Verify the solution appears. Close condition, close the browser. Yeah, guys, I think everything's done here. So, on that note, I shall leave you until the next video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Cheerio. Bye-bye.